Hi there, welcome to BG's Rides. This is Ben Gamanit and I'm excited to give you an overview of our feature car for today. But before that, let me just say thank you to PCK Cars and of course, Sir Patrick for making this video possible. To all of my subscribers, thank you so much guys. For those of you who are new in this channel, please subscribe and tap the bell button for notifications. Alright guys, this car about the feature, although smaller, has a bit of a striking resemblance with the American H2 Hummer. But of course, with a much cuter Japanese twist. This unit is not a repo car. It was acquired directly from the first owner and it is registered. It comes with the owner's manual and service record. And in this video, we're going to take a look at its exterior and interior condition, its mile age, and we'll also try to test drive it just for us to get a much better feel of this car's overall condition. Make sure it's really worth your hard-earned cash. So without further ado, let me introduce our very own Toyota FJ Cruiser. The FJ Cruiser is a retro-styled mid-size SUV built by Hino Motors, which is also a subsidiary of Toyota in Hamura, Japan since 2006, and shares many of its structural underpinnings with the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. Although the FJ Cruiser is no longer for sale in the US since uh, 2015, its popularity remains strong among the Filipino buyers, not only because of its great off-road performance, but also because of its great unique styling that really exudes cuteness and ruggedness all rolled into one. This unit we have right now is no other than the 2014 Toyota FJ Cruiser V6 Gas. As you can see, the design of the 2014 Toyota FJ Cruiser is very retro. The way that the front facer was designed really make it look so cute, but at the same time, very rugged with this skid plate design down below. We got well-pronounced fenders that also make the car look wider and muscular. The high ground clearance also conveys versatility as this car is able to wade, to wade through up to 700 millimeters of flood. As you can see, this car is very fresh and it's still got the original beautiful paint combination that really make this FJ Cruiser stand out. This car has never been into any minor or major accidents. And it's all stock, including the 17-inch beautiful alloy rims with about 90% federal tires on them. Opening the hood is very easy with these dual hydraulic assists and powering this retro mid-size SUV is Toyota's very powerful and reliable 4-liter V6 gas engine producing up to 268 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque mated to a 5-speed automatic transmission. Now, there had been improvements made to this car's engine in terms of fuel consumption. So this car now has a combined fuel economy of about 8 kilometers per liter. As you can see inside the vehicle, we do have a well-maintained interior. It's uh, neat and clean and we also have the same beautiful paint combination as what we have outside of the vehicle. And we also got some grayish plastic material trims as well as this uh, carbon fiber-like design element all around the interior that really amplifies the rugged characteristics of this FJ Cruiser. For practicality, we do have door bins you can see and also a cup holder right there as well as here the storage uh, system right there we also have a spacious glove box where we can find a vehicle registration owner's manual and service record 
This car is also equipped with 11 JBL premium sound system speakers. Our cloth seats with an armrest for the driver are very comfortable to sit in with plenty of manual adjustments. To open the rear doors, we just need to pull this lever here from the inside. And as you can see, we have a good amount of legroom and headroom as well for our rear passengers. The back seats are also angled perfectly to give the rear passengers a comfortable ride. The child seat tethers are also very much easily accessible right underneath the backrest. To open the back door, we just need to squeeze this handle here. And as you can see, we do have a very good amount of cargo space. The uh, opening for the cargo area is wide and it's completely flat, as you can see. So that really makes loading and unloading heavier items very easy. Alright guys, so right now we are inside our 2014 Toyota FJ Cruiser and I do have the key with me. So let's try to start the engine. So there's your keyhole. Let's uh, insert the key. Step on the brake. Turn the key. Perfect. As you can see, we do have a very nice looking steering wheel, leather wrapped with of course the Toyota logo right at the center. On our instrument cluster, we have analog gauges. Currently, the mile age is 41,101 kilometers. We also have a compass as well as a, an outside temperature indicator. Uh, this one is our inclinometer. It is used when you're off-roading for us to get a view of the actual vehicle's articulation and our digital display for the time our Toyota stereo system with DVD player our physical knobs for our climate control system and of course our physical button for traction control rear diff lock button uh, park assist on off button our drive train selector we have h4 h2 neutral l4 our gear selector all right guys right now we're going to test drive our 2014 toyota fj cruiser all right so let's uh roll Alright guys, driving uh, this unit, uh, the 2014 Toyota FJ Cruiser is a great experience. The way this car was designed in and out, uh, especially being behind the wheel of it, really makes you feel like you're driving a, a very special mid-size SUV. Your sitting position is very comfortable and you do sit very high to get this perfect commanding view of the road. The A pillars are a bit thick, but then uh, they really don't create that much of an obstruction. You do still have this uh, very good all round visibility. Steering wise, it's neither heavy nor light, but it's absolutely precise and accurate. Now, uh, we have newly installed humps in the vicinity and Right now, the way this car runs through them, as you can see, I can tell definitely that the suspension is still working perfectly fine. I'm not hearing any strange sound or clutter. And if you look at this car from the outside, you may think that it's a bit tricky to maneuver, but uh, actually, once you get behind the wheel, it's very easy to drive. Now this car's uh, suspension is the 
high mounted uh, double wishbone front suspension with a stabilizer and four link uh, rear suspension with lateral rod with coil springs and stabilizers and the way that uh, they are set up uh, when you corner there's almost uh, no body roll now this car is uh, fitted with a 4 liter v6 uh, gas engine uh, mated to a 5 speed automatic transmission and the way this thing drives i can tell that uh, the engine is uh, very powerful. The 5 speed automatic transmission is very responsive. Uh, on road, it doesn't feel like you're driving uh, a mid sized SUV. It feels more like you're driving uh, a luxury car. And of course, uh, for safety, you have uh, disc brakes on four wheels. You have the traction control as well. Off road is when you're going to find the FJ Cruiser more amazing. Uh, it's also loaded with. Uh, Lots of off-road uh, goodies. You have the ability to lock or unlock the rear differential uh, for extreme off-roading. And you also have the drivetrain uh, lever to perfectly match whatever type of off-road terrain you're on. The uh, four-wheel drive system of uh, the FJ Cruiser is intelligent enough for it to actively manage the torque distribution on uh, four wheels to perfectly uh, match or tackle whatever uh, extreme off-road condition uh, you're on. Alright guys, if you're planning to buy a retro-styled mid-sized SUV compared to buying a new one, and this unit we have right now with its low mile age, Excellent exterior and interior condition. Flawless performance at a much lower price and still negotiable. This is the retro deal you cannot afford to miss. So that concludes our review of this retro Japanese engineering masterpiece. If you believe that you deserve to be the next owner of this 2014 Toyota FJ Cruiser V6 gas and of course for bigger discount. Please contact me right away. My number and the pricing are on the description. And as always, I do hope that you find this very useful. If you do, please like, comment, and share. And for those of you who are new in this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell button so that we can always notify you every time we have a new upload. Who knows, maybe our next feature car will be the one that you've been looking for. Thank you so much for watching this Vin Gamanich. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. VG's Rides, used, not abused.